Hello everyone, Coach Lockie here, PGA Golf Professional. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the simplest, most basic way to chip a golf ball. If you're struggling around the green with fat shots, thin shots, we need to get you chipping this golf ball loads more consistently. So how can we give you the simplest, most basic chipping technique out there? Let me get a towel. Grab your bag towel. If you haven't got one, go and get one because you need to keep your clubs clean. And what we're gonna do with this towel and this golf drill is to completely take any power sources out, any variation that could happen in the swing. We're basically gonna set an arc that will consistently return back to the bottom of the ball. So the low point will be long and consistent. So what I want you to do, grab a towel, pinch it under your forearm or under your arm, sorry, by your elbows and get it by your rib cage. So literally you can't move them. This simple, basic chipping action is going to be all pivot and turn driven. So if there's any lengthening of our arms, that towel is going to fall out. We need to keep this pinched under both arms against our rib cage. Number two, because our arms are so tight to our chest, it's going to make it hard to get down to the ball. So I want you to get rid of this sort of hinge in your wrist. So your thumbs are kind of pointing up to the sky or both hands on the club, they'll be pointing up to the sky. I want you to point that club level to the ground. If you were gripping your club like this, pointing it to the sky, get rid of this hinge in your wrists. That is now setting that arc length again. Any hinge, you're gonna start to thin it, top it, whereas you can't fat it because we can't get that club going any further away from me. Doing this sort of setup is gonna take a lot of power out of our shot. So it's gonna be basic chipping technique and style that's gonna require you to change club to have different distances. So you can see here that I've got a bit of grass in between me and the green, and I've got my 52, or 50, sorry, in my hands. If you're using something like a lob wedge here, you can get such delicate little chip shots around the green. Setup wise, pretty simple, ball position in the middle of your stance. If you wanna have a tiny bit of shaft lean, you can. And one other thing, a variable, which might cause you to miss hit this basic chip shot is your grip style. And I have to change this myself in my swing. So I've got a pretty strong grip. I can see at least three knuckles on my lead hand here. And my bottom hand kind of sits where it needs to, but my left hand is pretty strong. Now, having this cup in my lead hand, if I'm to get rid of it, that club now moves further away. So if I was to get rid of that cup, it's going to move that club closer to the camera, affecting our low point in this basic chip shot. So we're going to have to make you go weaker. And this is something that I do in my golf swing and in my chipping. Super weak grip. So again, I'm now setting that length of my arc down at the bottom because I can't adjust my wrists. And the same with my right hand. I've got pretty flat of the back of my hands on both hands. Now I've set my arc by pinching my arms against my chest. I've set my arc by getting rid of my hinge and I've set my arc by getting rid of any strong grips in there as well. So you'll do very well now to adjust the bottom of your swing arc if you now just use your turns and your pivots to get this club back down to the golf ball. It's such a simple way to chip the golf ball. Towel under the arms, pinched against your chest, getting rid of any hinge in the golf club and making that grip super weak, having no cupping in any of your hands, lead or trail. Ball position more middle, tiny bit of shaft lean if you want. I'm standing pretty square onto it. And then I'm gonna use my turns to get that ball to go forward really, really 
soft, taking all the power out of my shot. If I wanted that to land on the green, you might have seen from this camera angle that it pitched a little bit short, but this just shows how delicate you can be around the green with this technique. In my lessons, it's one of the most common positions that I see people struggling, that delicate short chip, which they get a little bit jabby on. They lead with the handle because they feel like they need to get that club just popping that ball forward. They get their knees now bending towards target. They get their low points so muddled up, whereas this is gonna get your low points so consistent, helping you strike that golf ball more consistently. Now, if I want this ball to land on the green, I'm gonna grab my nine iron, pinch the towel underneath my arms again, get rid of the hinge, weak grips, ball position in the middle, tiny bit of shaft lean, use your turns to keep that arc and low point extremely consistent. And now I'm pitching that more towards the green. It's running out towards the flag look. I am not trying hard to get that ball close to the flag, I promise you. Go and try this technique out. I just wanna finish on my 58 and show you how delicate you can be. Like I'm literally gonna pop this so close to me and literally a yard or two in front of me. Same thing again, just going through it, pinching that towel against my chest, getting rid of the hinge, grip super weak, ball position in the middle, turn and use your pivots, turns to get that ball to pop up nicely. Hey, look how soft it can be. <laughs> when you want to be delicate around the green, this super simple basic chipping technique is the one for you. Let me know in the comments down below, does it help you? Go and practice it, take it out on the course, start chipping that ball closer. Thanks all for watching. Again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're enjoying the content and hit all your notification buttons so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. Thanks all for watching. See you in the next one.